of quality communities, uh, living well, having nice families, and quite frankly, politics is about a sense of gratitude, as Karen described it, appreciation. And um, the simple truth is we do have a lot to be grateful for. Um, I don't know if you've thought about it, but in my grandfather's time, the life expectancy was 47 years of age. And today it's almost 80. Maybe one of the great things in human history. Homo sapiens has been on the earth a long time. And in a little over one generation, we doubled life expectancies. And I say that as a way of getting around to thanking uh, each and every one of you uh, for all that you do. Because those increased life expectancies didn't just happen. It was people like yourself who stepped up, got active in this association, many other associations, to help find ways to prevent things like lung cancer, to uh, get early diagnosis, to, to find treatments, and to ultimately uh, find a, a, a cure. So it's no secret also that life can be wonderfully beautiful. It can be so joyful. It can be so exciting. And yet we all know it can be so fragile. And at times it can be so painful. And none of us is more than a step away or a breath away from that kind of pain and that kind of tragedy. And for me, and I suspect for everybody in this room, the way we express our gratitude for the joy in our lives is by paying it forward. And that's what tonight is all about. And I'm here personally to say thank you to all of you. Uh, because my daughter, Catherine, is living well uh, because of the efforts that you have all uh, put forth. And I just, uh, being a politician, I can't resist uh, saying a little bit political. And I know many of you, and myself included, and others, were greatly disappointed when the President's budget came before the Congress and requesting an eight point a $5.8 billion reduction in research at the National Institute of Health. But guess what? Here's the good news. Here's the good news. It should make you all joyful and happy. Because this is the kind of news that doesn't always create the big story on the evening news. But Democrats and Republicans and conservatives and liberals, we all came together. And we not only restored that $5.8 million, we added an additional $2 million. And that's the kind of bipartisanship this country needs to do a lot more of. So, it's a great pleasure, a great honor uh, for me to introduce a young woman that uh, I couldn't be more proud of. Uh, she's so strong, uh, she's so determined, she's here, she's living well, and she's going to be around for a long time to come. So join me and join all of us together in finding a cure for cancer and welcoming Catherine Nolan Benson.